Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at amazing findings as a result of the recent leverage changes made by Australia in particular but being rolled out on a global basis. And in particular we're going to be looking at how those leverage changes are impacting our automated trading robots. Okay, so in this video, you're going to see the impact of leverage on expert forex robots. You're going to see how low leverage index trading is impacted. The leverage is even lower for indexes. And uh, we're going to look at an introduction of new index and currency setting services provided by expert forex. Now, there have been a number of legislation changes in the US, in Europe, and now in Australia, which impact the amount of leverage that a broker can offer their clients. When these regulations were implemented, everybody shuddered and thought they're killing the industry, that this is the end of Forex trading. In fact, I had a recent chat to two brokers, one from the US and one from the Europe, and they have said that at first, there was a decline in trading, but now volumes are actually higher than they were before the, cha the changes were made. And I made two videos about three years ago, which explained how leverage impacts Forex trading and a Forex trading account. These videos are well worth going to have a look at. I'm not going to repeat the content of these videos, for you, uh, the, the one has had 18,000 views and it really explains to you that leverage is not such a limiting factor as what people believe it to be. And we're actually going to see more of that in the video. But please go and watch these videos. It explains how leverage works for manual trading and how it works for robot trading. And as this video says, relax, you don't need to panic about leverage, the impact of leverage on your trading results. So on the 29th of March this year, uh, Australia implemented severe leverage changes. If you think that you could get a, a, a four 100 to 1 leverage in Australia and suddenly they cut it down to 30 to 1 for major currencies, 20 to 1 for minor currencies and 10 to 1 for commodities and 2 to 1 for crypto assets and, um, and 5 to 1 for shares and other assets. So a severe cut in the amount of leverage that brokers can offer their clients. We looked at it and said our traders are not going to be, make, be able to make the income that they did in the past using trading robots. But we sat back and said, look, if the majority of our clients who are based in the US, in, the, in Europe and in Australia are using these low leverages, then we need to do optimization based on the lower leverages on 30 to 1 and, and 20 to 1 leverages. So that is what we did is we started optimizing our EAs based on these new leverages. Not only the leverages, but there are also uh, equity cutoff points that appear in in your trading account that if you go below that, it's effectively an early margin call. And we programmed that into our optimization service. And I'm going to show you some of the results. And here are some of the results. Now, this is a tradable RSI. It's actually our best performing EA, EA at the moment. And here's the traditional leverage uh, that we use. We use 100 to 1. And as you can see, all the set files are based on 100 to 1. So, um, and just f out of interest, if you look here, the best result here is based on a $10,000 account. So in other words, this EA had a 500% or 550% return on its money during uh, using those particular settings in the past, in the last year. So you can see there in the last year. So um, we then said, okay, let's do the same thing with lower leverage. So we went and did exactly the same thing, lower leverage, a slightly different time frame, actually one day difference. You'll see what a, di a difference a day makes. And we lowered the leverage to 30, 30 to 1. And have a look at this. In fact, the results went up. 
Isn't that quite amazing? So it shows you that if you have a profitable uh, trading system, you don't need to worry about leverage. That's in, in fact what it, what it basically is. If you have a reasonable success rate in your trading and you have a reasonably uh, a profitable trading robot, you don't have to worry about leverage. And in fact, as, the prior, as your account balance goes up, the risk of leverage having any effect on the account actually dis starts disappearing. You know, I often get the question, oh, but I've got 400 to 1 leverage, so I can have a smaller account. It doesn't work that uh, your trading results aren't related to your leverage. And uh, this is a case in point. Uh, with a lower leverage, the results were actually marginally higher. But here's the really big one. And uh, we, we then ran it on our index trading, and we used leverage of 20 to 1. And look at these phenomenal results. Over $138,000 from $10,000. So that's about almost a 1,400% return on your money. And this is profits, not balance. So it's, so that's what it is. And the leverage, as you can see, is, to, is, is 20 to 1. So it just shows you that leverage does not negatively impact your results if you have a, a, a fully funded account plus you have a reasonably successful trading technique. These settings will be rolled out to our users. That's one of the uh, changes we're going to make. We're going to be providing index set files for MT4 and MT5 for all our EA users. Uh, um, there is, however, a proviso on this in, in that Every broker, or most brokers, differ considerably in the way they handle index trading um, and, they, and the amount of margin required and the pip values and things like that. So these are just guide settings. You still need to do a bit of homework to refine these settings to your broker. But we are providing them um, as, as proof that the EAs pr produce really good results. That's all that they are. It's proof that the potential of this EA is great. And in fact, a lot higher than, for, uh, than Forex instruments. Very interesting. Now I'm using the tradable RSI because it is really doing pretty well. It's in the top uh, traded EAs that we are currently trading on a monitoring account in our live account. So really that that, that does show that this is, is becoming a very robust EA, uh, it's actually because we made some recent changes to and upgraded the EA and added some more functionality to it. But these principles apply to all of our EAs. We are finding the same thing. We are actually finding that the results of our EAs, the best results, are not being impacted by leverage. So that can be a huge relief to a lot of people because a lot of Aussies have gone crazy and gone and the registered accounts with unregulated uh, uh, brokers and things like that, where in fact the trading results will not be impacted by leverage at all. Please go and watch those videos that I mentioned earlier. And if you want more details about the tradable RSI, here, here is the link and there is the um, website that you can get the information on. Uh, here's the major upgrade that happened uh, a few months ago that has made a, a, quite a major change to the RSI results. So if you are worried about leverage, and there are, and I must say there are a few systems that do require high leverage, um, uh, then this is, these are the three points that you need to pay attention to. Avoid systems that require large number of open trades. Now, we have a few of those. We have the GTM requires a large number of open trades. The uh, time of day hedged EA requires a, a large number of open trades. The hedge, hedge one is actually different because it, uh, the buys and sells, uh, the margin sometimes offsets uh, margin requirements uh, but please avoid systems that require a large number of open trades if you have such a system just reduce it just say no, maximum open trades 10 or, or 15 and you won't have leverage problems 
Also trade systems that have a reasonable success rate. So if you're trading a system with about a 50 to 60% success rate, you should be okay. It's when it goes down to about 30%, then leverage starts uh, becoming a real problem. And then make sure your account is fully funded, you know, or well funded. That is the prime reason why they have made these changes because people have tried to squeeze amazing results out of a 200 or 500 dollar account which has been totally underfunded and when your, your account is underfunded you will blow that account no matter what i hope you found this video interesting and please go to watch those two videos i produced uh, earlier and get a good feel about how leverage impacts your own personal trading whether you need to do anything about it the the the, the worst thing that you need to do is maybe increase your account balance so that you can manage more open trades but on the whole you should not be affected by low leverage from me alex deploy cheerio